The last pictures, Leslie Grantham looked gray and haggard in the street months before EastEnders' Dirty Den died of cancer aged 71. These are the last pictures taken of former EastEnders actor Leslie Grantham just months before he passed away. The TV star, who had recently returned to the UK for treatment after living for some time in Bulgaria, passed away yesterday morning aged 71, his agent announced. New images of the former soap star looking far from his best have emerged today, with the 71-year-old hunched over and his hair thinning dramatically from his heyday. The small-screen actor's face looks sunken as he trudges along in the pictures, which were taken in March. Grantham had been visited by close friends from TV in the weeks before his death and he told some he had terminal cancer. His condition appeared to have deteriorated rapidly as photographs taken from 2017 show the actor with a far healthier glow and complexion. In the photographs taken in March, the actor is hunched over and grimacing while the year before he appears upright and is fuller in the face. Investigative journalist and former police detective Mark William Thomas tweeted that he investigated Grantham based on information given to him regarding to Jimmy Sawville case. When asked by a follower whether there was any foul play, William Thomas said he had compelling evidence regarding his sexual antics. However he came under attack for the timing of the tweet, which was hours after Grantham's death was announced. EastEnders stars have paid tribute to actor Leslie Grantham, who performances as Dirty Den Watts captivated millions. A statement from his representative said, We formally announce the loss of Leslie Grantham who passed away at 10.20am on the morning of Friday 15th of June 2018. Grantham had been visited by close friends from TV in the weeks before his death and he told some he had terminal cancer. Hollyoaks actor Joe Tracini tweeted, Last week he could barely hold his head up or make a sound. I held his hand for a while, kissed his forehead and told him I loved him. As I left, he bellowed, What am I f dying or something? We'll miss you, Lay X Grantham shares three children, Spike, 31, Jake, 29, and Daniel, 23, with his ex-wife, Jane Laurie, who he was married to for 31 years. His agent said, his ex-wife and sons have asked for their privacy to be respected at this difficult time. There will be a private funeral which will be attended by close family and friends only. EastEnders co-stars and friends paid tribute to the veteran actor soon after his death was announced. Co-star Letitia Dean, who played his on-screen adoptive daughter Sharon, said, I have very special memories of working with Leslie and will cherish them always. He and Anita looked after me in my early days and showed me the ropes, always with care and kindness. He never failed to make me laugh and I will remember him with love, affection and gratitude forever. See you up there Leslie. Thank you for everything. Love and respect always, Dish. Ex Jillian Tailforth, who plays Kathy Beale, said, I'm deeply saddened to hear the very sad news. I have so many happy memories of working with Leslie, he was always great fun and we shared many laughs. Those iconic Christmas episodes were legendary and they will always be part of East Enders history. My heart goes out to his loved ones. Dot Cotton actress June Brown said he always had a twinkle in his eye when he said outrageous things. Grantham's death was announced at the same time as Anita Dobson, his on-screen wife for so many years, was attending the memorial service for another of her friends, Professor Stephen Hawking. Dobson, who played Angie Watts in EastEnders over three decades, told BBC News that her former co-star was the archetypal charming rogue. She said, he was a good-looking guy, he was a charmer, he was funny, he was a good actor. And he was fun to be around, we were good mates. But I think there's always that kind of look about him that you just didn't know what he was going to do next, and that was his ace in the hole, there was always that bit about him that was slightly unpredictable, which I liked and what gave him the edge on TV. Dobson added, I came from nothing, from the East End with no money, and Leslie, as you know, had a checkered life before EastEnders, but we sort of understood each other, we understood that life can be tough. And we were fortunate, we were catapulted to an exotic place, but we were playing real people, people that we knew and we loved it. 
Tracy Ann Oberman, who starred opposite Grantham as his on-screen wife Chrissy Watts from 2004 until 2005, tweeted, Really sorry to hear about Leslie Grantham. A very very good actor and one who created an iconic character with Dirty Den Hash Ripless Leg. EastEnders executive consultant John York said, Everyone at EastEnders is deeply saddened to hear that Leslie has passed away. We extend our deepest sympathies and condolences to his family and friends at this extremely difficult time. Ray also posted a screen grab, which showed Grantham advising him to always eat a hearty breakfast because it sets you up for the day. Grantham had looked frail when he was last seen in public in February filming for The Craze, Dead Man Walking, which is set for release in December. Friends of the actor said he was gaunt and grey in recent weeks and had been living alone in a friend's empty terrace house London. A friend, who asked not to be named, said this week, Last time I saw him I said to him, You alright lay? He said, I'm fine but from the outside he looked bad. He was positive about it all but once you get cancer. He was saying he had it. He said he had it and it went but it came back. Grantham is understood to have been single in his final months, having said in 2016 that he didn't want to mess up someone else's life. He told an interviewer, I've messed up so many people's lives, why mess up someone else's? I don't get lonely because I have friends. And when I'm writing, that's the world I live in. Grantham became famous playing Watts in EastEnders, originally from 1985 to 1989. A 1986 Christmas Day episode drew an audience of more than 30 million viewers, who watched as Watts handed over divorce papers to on-screen wife Angie. His character was apparently killed off in 1989 but made a shock return to Albert Square Inches 2003. Grantham had originally been a soldier, having enlisted in the British Army in 1965 and being sent to West Germany with the Royal Fuse Liars. In 1966, However, he was involved in a struggle with a taxi driver he was attempting to rob in a Snobbrook, Lower Saxony. The driver, Felix Rees, was shot in the head and died and, in 1967, Grantham was convicted of murder and sentenced to life imprisonment. It was during his time behind bars, he spent ten years in British jails, that he first took to acting. Speaking about his past in 2016, Grantham said,